everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from the morning show. Starring Cappy Smack. Makers of Cappy Smack. You guessed it. I'm Cappy Smack. And we're still trying to learn about division. Specifically, we are dividing by one most of the time. Occasionally, we are dividing by four. But we're doing that with a good deal of patience. I'll leave that to you to figure out what it means. Entering safe area. Yeah. It's so press safe. Press X to start. Yeah, 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 right. Press buttons. Press something. Obviously, I have to press something, dude. So in our last episode, safe area Greetings. entered. I was able to get the uh, chatterbox. My inventory thanks you. Glad we got that settled. So that I can be chattering away once again. With the chatterbox. Agent requesting backup. Which I still think is a fairly disappointing exotic. But that's the way it is. It does. 
does uh, mid-range dam mid damage. And the damage the gun did in Tier 4 is exactly the same damage the gun does in Tier 5. Take a look. I got everything you need. You've got a sharp eye. And so now I'm working on my skill build. I'm happy that worked out. And I've got uh, fairly mid-range stats for a skill build, but it is effective combined with uh, patience. And yes, uh, patience is a virtue. Patience in this game is largely overlooked. I've also been able to unlock all of my uh, shade tech skills. Some of them I'll never use. Others I'll never use. Mayday! Mayday! And uh, still more I would probably never use. And of the ones that I'm probably going to use, I'll get used more than the ones I'm never going to use. Some people think using the Reviver Hive is like super duper cool because it will revive them. Yeah, once in three minutes. I'd rather use offensive skills and kill some NPCs during that three minutes. The number of NPCs I can kill in three minutes with Seeker Mines kind of outweighs being revived once in three minutes. But it is kind of cool that you can just wear it, it's equipped, and it will revive you if you are downed once in three minutes. There's no getting around it, that's, that's kind of cool. in route.
in danger. Also, alert level 4 is pretty fucking tough to solo. to it and you can do it then you are fucking awesome. I don't see a lot of value in doing even alert level threes.
Detecting additional hostile contacts. actually the most uh, defensible part of this building. They have to come up the stairs to get me and they are vulnerable when they do it. actually have a line of sight until they come up here. Man, that was an elite patrol. I knew there was an elite patrol headed over here. Could have done that without you. Oh, you're right. You could not have. You really came through for us. Could you please get off the loop, the, the uh, restock box? It's so rude when they die. Right on top of the restock box. Alright, so the real question is, am I doing more damage with this 17.3k AUG A3 CQC as my primary weapon, or would I do more with this measured thing at 15.1k? Because 25% of, uh, oh wait, 20% weapons damage, if 15.1k is the base, and 20% of that's another 3,000, 3, it would do 18,000 for the last half of the magazine versus missing 20% less. So the, the first half is going to be 12,000. The bottom half is going to be 18,000. So I think the average of that is less than what I get with this 493 AUG 3C. But I have to test it to find out because I'm not entirely 100% sure. Incoming backup request. Once you get to the bottom half of the magazine, that might just compensate.
And what I'm looking for here from my mask is two blues and one yellow. Oddly enough. Just not finding two blues and one yellow. And for this guy, I really need a blue and a yellow. Health on kill is not bad. I could, uh, can't really raise health on kill at this point. And for this guy, I really need one, one or two blues and one yellow. Two blues and red, not helping me. If I were doing a damage build, that would be pretty fucking ideal. And yes, Anthem just rolled an update, but you know, I don't care about it because it's a broken game. Wait, I should have something here. Yeah, I do. It's a broken game that doesn't know it's broken. Use arm kits. I used a grand total of one armor kit in the last you know, two weeks. Because I couldn't have, there was no cover. We're running low on supplies. As long as I've got cover, I don't need any armor kits. I'm hitting that elite uh, patrol before I took back that control point. Was the elite patrol was going to push it up to push it up to three, and then if anything else happened, sometimes will, broadcast picked up. NPCs are pretty annoying about that, they'll just, and they'll send in reinforcements. And they could have very easily gone to a four. NPCs don't care where they get reinforcements. They just send in reinforcements. And once it goes to a four, Everybody's elite. They all have like triple armor.
pretty tough to solo unless you've got a really fucking fantastic build, which I don't have. I have a mid-range build. And it could be that this is this the best build I'm ever going to have for skill. I don't know. Pretty underwhelmed by True Patriot. Now, if I got a skill-based True Patriot, it'd be different. It's uh, defense-based. So... Damage isn't even there. It's just a fucking defense ba defense based build. But I don't think it gives enough of a benefit to a team for it to be useful. So doing a little less damage, you know, getting a little less damage from an enemy. Okay big deal. If you're not going to cut it down by 80 or 90 percent, it's a big deal. Who cares? Getting some armor for teammates? Well, again, unless it's making them into super tanky, who cares? If they're not going to be super tanky, who the hell cares? tend to pull centimeters, which is very good. Also, if you pull your drones back in. Oh. Rather than let them die, you get them back with a, with a less of a cooldown than the other thing. So I'm going to let this go. Cooldown is now half of what it would have been. Progress halted. Progress resumed. If they die in battle, you have the full cooldown. Also, you can you can speed up the cooldown of uh, seeker mines, the campus is opening but they the do have the damage. We have plenty of provisions. You need help, help come to us. Well, we're gonna be safe. Fucking tank for that.
could be that this gun gets a boost from the chatterbox. It's a rate of fire boost, so you can get to the bottom half of the uh, magazine. A little more, a little more quickly, a little more fastly. I did happen to find a couple uh, outcast caches, since I've got a shitload of keys. So I'll be able to farm that every day. Standing water, why do we have dust? are in this weapon. Greased. Not really working for me. Reload speed. Uh, maybe. 
Preservation might be better. And rooted is a whole lot better, so. Answers that question, I think. I do like Everlasting. But in order to get it on get it somewhere I'd have to have see I could put everlasting rather than rooted. But skill da you know skill damage and healing is increased by twenty five percent in ten seconds. Yeah. Everlasting might be better. I think um, the extra damage without the measures. Every time you, every time I put measured on a weapon, it reduces the damage by 25%. Seems like a good talent. Seems like you, it's a talent you want to chase, but it reduces the base damage of the weapon. Rate of fire is, is a better talent, honestly. We got company. Give it up. to have an open world to run around in because you can test things figure out what talents work better everlasting I think is better as a talent bad when the only thing you can say right before you die is fuck you
mean, if that's your best comeback right before you die, you need to give it up. Hostile broadcast detected. And then everlasting only procs when you move cover to cover. Otherwise it doesn't proc at all. And it doesn't really say that that's the way it works, but that is the way it works. Sorry about your girlfriend, ma'am. Can't see the fuck. You're not supposed to see the fuck until you're dead. Minor technical point. about your boyfriend. So when you're dead. I thought you would have understood that by now. Stops when you're dead or I'm dead. Progress resumed. But war is kind of like that. Yeah. 
infected. I haven't done this in a while. Progress resumed. So many hostiles, man. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Shit, man. Sides forces their their forces them to fire in a particular arc. Carrying resources. Then the counterattack on the uh, on the resources. You can join the hyenas and choose a life of self indulgence. That's your prerogative. But I'll tell you something. Your days will be numbered. Or...
I wouldn't have a problem with that being at three, but the problem is that one of these two that are connected to it are going to counterattack the moment I start hitting this control point. And it's likely going to drive it up to a four. Just like that elite patrol would come back and counterattack and drive it up to a four. So then it's a whole lot smarter to uh, hit one of these, drive it up to a three, let it come back down to a two, and then drive it up to a three when you when you attack it, or or when you uh, you know. Otherwise, it gets out of control. Or let it come back down to a down to a one before you before you attack him. But that's the life of being solo. And I've got enough weapon mods, so I'm not gonna grind away on alert level three control points. It's just not something I'm going to do. I'm kind of curious as to whether that mission is still bugged. Three civilians went into this museum to rip out some wires. One of them used to work there. Thought they could get... It's been bugged for a long time. But actually, I think I'm going to see if I can put Everlasting on my current weapon. I ran out of ammo more than than not. And being able to take, you know, being able to move cover to cover to get ammo can be useful. Exactly keep you safe from hyenas. Not when you're making a racket. Go check on them, will you? Also, control point nearby. They could make it easier to switch weapons. You should be able to identify a triage of weapons you can use, and when you run out of ammo, you simply pick the next weapon in the triage line. See, I've got three blues. Otherwise, that would be not bad for a different kind of build. So, if I were doing a damage build, that would be a not bad. Two blues and a red and whatnot is actually not bad. And if I could find the right combinations.
Not bad for a damage build. And for gloves, I need uh, skill and health. Which I'm never going to get. I don't think uh, I don't think they spawn gloves with skill and health. My cat is a talker. Mm, stop, drop, and roll. I do like. Too bad I can't get it on a chatterbox. So, I mean, I'm not going to use it, so get rid of it. Agent, pleasure to see you. This should fill up my inventory. Thanks for your business. Mission, make me so happy. Well, I'm down to the last uh, 20 on this. Uh, I can see 15, I don't see 20. Oh, that thing. I need more titaniums. Alright. And I got to go out and forage. Incoming backup request. in distress. Thank you, Agent.
champions in danger. Like, dude, can we just stipulate the civilians are going to be in danger and stop bugging me about it? Oh man, you might want to run around like Superman and try to access. save people. Where's their supply room unlocked? So I'm not sure what he's talking about. Oh, demolition site? Alright. I guess my heroics have inspired my peeps in the game to be uh, heroic and to take things on their own. Because they're being all heroic. Because I have inspired my troops. I know you'll protect us. We're good for now. 
You are good for now, aren't you? I think I might just have enough. Dress like an outcast? Yeah, no thanks. They must have a lot of people churning that stuff out. They must have at least 20 or 30 people dedicated to doing nothing but cranking out visual assets. Not sure why I care about Wasakali. Ten percent optimal range doesn't even have an effect. Honestly, I'm not sure why some of these things are even in the game. I guess you can go twenty percent optimal range and then give it another ten. But even that is negligible. Crit range, I think, is probably more useful.
Now if that were two blues and a yellow that would work for skill, two blues and a red works for damage. So Pleasure to see you. I'm happy to take all this. Good trading with you, Agent. Dude, I don't think you have a choice. He acts like he has a choice. I don't have to take all this, but I'm happy to. See, a preservation's already on that thing. Can't do anything with that. That already has everlasting. If I can put something else on it, that would be a mid range thing, but I moved everlasting to it, so I can't. I could do vindictive and everlasting. But it's really a mid range gun. Well, that has Optimist, which I cannot use, and Stop, Drop, and Roll, which I put on there. Yeah, I would have to find one of the rolls has to be exactly correct, and the other one I can move on. Turns out there's not much I can do. Replace Wasakali with something. Uh, stop, drop, and roll. Where's the other one? Uh, see, that would be a really silly thing. Vindictive and rooted. I don't think I can use Vindictive. I can move Everlasting up a notch. Rooted is really a silly talent. Transmission might be good. At least I can get rid of that piece of shit. I guess I'd rather move uh, Everlasting. Until I can finally use it someday.
transmission is also not very useful. Sounds nice on paper. Rooted, also not very useful. Again, some of these things sound nice on paper, but in real terms. Good to see you. They don't actually play. That filled my inventory. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Over here. And yep, I am out of time. Well, that's the morning show. Be sure to catch me. Streaming at night, live in a Once again, this is the Cappy Smack Show. Brought to you by Cappy Smack. There are some people out there just can't figure out how to pronounce my name. So, you know, for them, buy glasses. <laughs>